The name of our 11th Imam is Imam Hassan Askari alayhi salam, and he's titled Al Askari because he was forcibly kept in a military camp under strict surveillance all his life by the Abbasid government. He was also titled the pure, the guide, the chaste, the peculiar, the silent, the lamp, and the pious. His ignomen is Abu Muhammad, and he was born on the 8th or the 10th of Rabi Asani in Medina or in Samarra. He's the son of our 10th Imam, Imam Ali al Hadi alayhi salam, and Bibi Haditha, who was also known as Salil or Sosun. Historians indicate that the Imam had a beautiful complexion that was between brown and white, and he had big eyes. The Imam was the most knowledgeable and the best of the people of his age, not only in religious affairs and laws, but in all fields of knowledge. The Abbasid government knew of the prophecy that Imam Mahdi al Hajjat ibn Hassan would be from the progeny of her 11th Imam, which is why they were extremely harsh towards him. They arrested and put him into prison under the strictest of guards. They even tried to involve him into the government body and spared no effort to subject him to their desires, but obviously failed. No one was more generous than the Imam among all people of the time. The Imam wrote several letters to his trusted companions with an aim to prepare them for the Ghaibah and the Imamath of the 12th Imam. He even appointed Uthman ibn Sa'id Amri and his son Muhammad ibn Uthman as his representatives or naibs so that the Shias of that time could get used to the concept of connecting to the Imams through representatives. He also propagated the notion of taqayya to his Shia to protect them from the autocracy of the government. He was poisoned at the age of 28 on the command of al Mu'attam al Abbasi and passed away on the 8th of Rabi al-Awwal and is currently buried in Samarrah in Iraq. The famous tafsir of the Holy Quran written by him is still available today together with his valuable sayings and advices.